This is Polio Jr. and today I'm not going to be doing a uh, a screen capture, so I'm trying to keep this as center as possible. So I'm actually <laughs> I have the the camera directly in front of me, so um, so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing because I'm going to be showing you different things. Um, and the the biggest thing I wanted to show you this is more of an update to the video I did a couple months ago, uh, maybe even a month ago, um, on basically how to make your your PC, your computer, Bluetooth compatible, which was just with the, with this device, which is just uh, a Bluetooth radio. Uh, it's just a Bluetooth dongle in which when you plug it, you know, they're typically a plug and play. So when you plug that in, you know, you typically hear the sound and it'll install the drivers it'll install the very standard drivers now what I showed in the last video was basically how you would find how you would send using this right here the Bluetooth file transfer and sending and receiving files uh, from your phone and so forth um, but the one cool thing that I'm sure a lot of people know about but I'm sure a lot of people don't know about is that even with that dongle um, you can actually play if you do it correctly um, and don't get frustrated uh, you can play your music to any Bluetooth speaker so what I have right here is just something that I can show you guys and this is just all this is just a Bluetooth speaker it's actually like a waterproof Bluetooth speaker but regardless it's a Bluetooth speaker so, the first thing I'm going to do, um, we plugged in the USB dongle, and typically you would see down here, this is Windows 7, um, you know, it installed the driver and so forth, they're typically plug and play, but if you didn't, if it didn't come with any extra software or anything like that, you're going to need the drivers for it and you're going to need the, the services for it in order to make this work for it so the number one guy that I recommend is uh, it's drivereasy.com I even have a video on driver easy um, this was pretty much the thing that helped save me not save me but help get um, you know in order for me to play you know my you know my music and all of my sounds directly from uh, my computer to a, any Bluetooth speaker and be able to sync with it so what I'm doing right now is I'm just installing driver easy and hopefully it doesn't take too long but when you initially install driver easy um, okay blah 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 thanks it it literally will as far as the Bluetooth is um, as far as we're concerned with the Bluetooth so you can click scan now um, any of the services and so forth um, it's the best way to find um, exactly the exact drivers that you need for devices that are even unknown uh, or just that you can't find anywhere else or like little oddball stuff so in here like I have some other things that um, if I wanted to I could you know I, I don't feel as though I need to do these other things but if you go to driver easy and you see something for the Bluetooth download it let it run and then install it um, and let it go through what it needs to do after that you can close out driver easy like I said that was like a two second download uh, and it works it works great um, and it's free um, you would go to um, I already have them saved I've been typing them enough in here but you would type in Bluetooth and then you would go to Bluetooth places so in here um, I've already um, connected to before uh, my cell phone so what I want to do is add a device so obviously like any other Bluetooth with this guy 
I'm going to turn this on and that means that it's basically looking to get paired and this one doesn't require a code so we're going to click add a device and it should come up in here it should come on don't be stingy there it is and even though it is a speaker it'll come up as a Bluetooth headset okay and if you wait a sec I guess if you wait a second it'll say that you know the model number so it's a um, y, you know, YF-20 so we're gonna click next it's gonna connect the device and you can if you want this doesn't have a pairing code if it did you would type it in um, and it doesn't have a keypad so it's a speaker so we're just gonna pair without using a code like that and then down there it's gonna install the driver software automatically and this is a pretty unknown speaker too which is pretty cool um, that it's actually installing this so this device has been successfully added to this computer now um, I was able to connect to it and this was the other thing was that you want to make sure that um, that the hardware is updated um, so you go to so I'll do it again you would right click on the device on here you would go to properties you would go to hardware and then you would update each one you would update the driver so you would click on the first one hit properties go to the driver tab and update the driver and then just do search automatically um, mine's probably already installed already I removed it just to show you so it's installing the driver software so it, it was really weird I had to I had to get the driver easy the driver easy was for the dongle this is for the device so close close so when we did driver easy that was for um, any other things that we needed for the actual um, Bluetooth dongle what I just did right here was to install this Bluetooth driver onto my you know onto the computer and to update that driver and that was really the biggest issue so now um, if we go down here and we go to playback devices and we scroll we should see the Bluetooth hands-free audio and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it as my default and like that so we're connected to it so it's trying to connect allow it and there is no pairing code but we're just going to do a default one zero you know the zero 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 it didn't ask me for one before um, but typically it's zero 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 or or one two three four um, so I'm not really sure why it's asking me for this because it doesn't really it doesn't require any code but we'll find out we'll see whenever you feel like working windows because this solid this solid green light on here <clears throat> means that at least means that at least something's trying to connect to it or that it is paired so you know what we're gonna do we're just, I think I think it's the audio renderer okay my mistake so use the for, as far as the speaker goes use the audio the stereo audio um, and then click OK not the mono the stereo audio set the default OK good to go um, and we'll just play some we'll, I've been doing this in all my vi in some videos is playing uh, playing this so let's see if it does play from this speaker
and it does. So I don't want to play too much because I'm going to get. Um, but as you can see, as you can see and hear, well, as you can hear, I'm connected to the speaker, and I can play any. I could play anything I want right now. So I could go to. Um, it's going to do any audio that's coming out from the computer because that is this is the speaker for the computer right now sorry I'm showing you all my little tabs and so forth um, let's see here let's go to youtube.com and so this guy is hooked up now that's our default device and uh, as always I'm gonna play the or as always I've only done it in one other video um, I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna play this the Dragon Ball Z light of hope because it is that awesome but it's coming from this guy though it's not coming from my speakers anymore this doesn't have volume control so I do have to control it from here so I can still watch I can do everything else I could do before and be completely fine but this is just to show you that stupid. it does work what and you can do it in a really uh, short period of time as well which is pretty nice so and depending on the dongle the bluetooth dongle that you get um, you can actually go pretty far with it too so like my plan is like I want to you know, declutter my desk and just get a sound bar and have it, you know, above the computer, above the, I mean, above the monitor, and, um, and then just play Bluetooth straight from here to there instead of having, you know, I, I don't want all these speakers and all that stuff, but that is basically how you, number one, connect your dongle, um, a, you know, update the drivers of the USB dongle, and then, um, and then update the driver of the actual speaker that you want to use if it doesn't come up as an audio device automatically. Now, if I just turn this guy off, just like this, it's going to go back, my default is going to go back to um, my regular speakers as well. So this is, this is off, and it should, at least it should because it's not it shouldn't be available anymore come on see okay yeah so now we're back if you hear that those are my other speakers so we're back to my other speakers and then when I turn this guy back on um, last time I had to I had to go to um, back to Bluetooth places and you can just type it in Bluetooth places um, and it's right here and typically what I did last time was I just double clicked on it and that was it and it just connected so um, sometimes there's like some playing around with it and so forth um, but I might have to yeah that's 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 how you would dip it. Eh, that's how you would do it. Like I said, typically, um, for whatever for whatever reason, right now it's not doing it. But you would basically just double click on it, and um, and it would pretty much pair right away. So, and then just so you guys know, in order to go to the um, the USB dongle. You can go here, but I'll show you. Just go to Control Panel, go to uh, Network and Internet, go to Network and Sharing Center, go to Adapter Settings, and then there is your there's your actual Bluetooth um, device right there. So that that I mean that's your actual dongle. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this guy off again. And this guy's kind of a this is this is a little cheapy, but like I said, it's just an example. 
because the blue the the Bluetooth comes up as a network connection. So. See if anything else comes up here. We'll go to Bluetooth places again. Because that was all I had to do last time. Was just double click. And then it would. And then it came, it would, it came up automatically. So um, if that doesn't work for you. Just restart the computer. Um, but yeah. But as you can see. It definitely does work. Uh, it's still there. It's just for whatever reason. Just being a pain in the ass right now and not wanting to uh, to show up <laughs> but it does it, it definitely does work let me see this enable disable or disable then enable it come on let's go back to um, Bluetooth places and let's see here Bluetooth audio device Sound setting. Sometimes it has to be restarted. I think the first time you might have to restart it after you do it. Um, but I was able. I've been able to connect to this thing multiple times just by going to um, typing in Bluetooth and then going to Bluetooth places um, and just double clicking on it, and then it would just come up as my. It would come up that I would be able to play it as a. Uh, my playback my playback device so um, and then in the other video you know I show you the real simple stuff you know sending files to your phone and so forth and what you need to do but it is possible 100% possible and it doesn't take that long um, the drivers for um, your dongle and then uh, don't take long to download and install and the drivers for um, for this Bluetooth speaker don't take long at all either so I hope this video helped you guys um, and that's really about it so I just wanted to show you guys that and leave any comments like subscribe and uh, have a good night see ya